The cesspool of Twitter has been particularly abuzz the last couple of weeks. Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn has been fired after tweets Disney Studios call indefensible resurfaced from his past. It was really shocking when these tweets were unveiled a couple of days ago. Unveiled? <laughs> they were never veiled in the first place. James Gunn tweeted some pedophile jokes ten years ago. And guess what? They weren't good. <laughs> Turns out that James Gunn is a shitty comedian. In the same way that I'm a subpar film director. Anyone who saw the movie of the birth of my son can attest to that. I was at the wrong end. <laughs> but what James Gunn said were jokes. That's not how pedophiles do things. Normally, they're a bit more discreet. <laughs> like, you know whose Twitter feed isn't filled with pedophile jokes? Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> But that hasn't stopped Twitter trolls from going after the rest of liberal Hollywood. You've got uh, uh, Gunn and Pat Oswalt and Sarah Silverman, Michael Ian yeah. Black, the comedian. I came across tweets of his joking about pedophilia. It's amazing how angry people are about old tweets. Nobody considers that time has passed since then. People change. Like, I wrote a pedophile tweet like 10 years ago as well. Last week, my girlfriend saw it for the first time. She was really angry, even though I told her, honey, that tweet was written before you were born. <laughs> but there are bullies on both sides. It used to be that liberals encouraged personal growth and believed in moving beyond bigotry and hate. But now, even if you've changed, you have to pay for the sins of your past. Milwaukee Brewers pitcher Josh Hader ordered to undergo sensitivity training by Major League Baseball after the racist and homophobic tweets resurfaced during his all-star game appearance last night. Atlanta Braves pitcher Sean Newcomb also apologizing for insensitive tweets dug up from his past. Homophobic and racially insensitive tweets that shortstop Trey Turner made in 2011 and 2012 surfaced. Yes, the, the tweets were horrible, but these guys were teenagers when they made those. Yeah. You've never made a mistake as a teen? On the bright side, scouting baseball talent just got a whole lot easier. Just check out a high school prospect's Twitter feed. We've found the next Derek Jeter. There's a kid in Nashville who's got some Hall of Fame opinions on Mexicans and gays. <laughs> in a lot of cases, we don't really want apologies. We just like being able to destroy careers and lives. It, it makes us feel good, biologically. One hallmark of moral outrage is expressing it feels so good. You see activation in the striatum, which is a brain area that we know to be involved in signaling rewards. It's receiving input inputs from the dopamine system. Personally, when I need a dopamine boost, I pet a puppy or have a wank or wank <laughs> off a puppy. <laughs> But apparently, when other people want a dopamine boost, they go online and tell strangers to kill themselves. <laughs> Look, I get it. Liberals like seeing right-wingers being taken down. Right-wingers like seeing liberals being taken down. It's like a game. I'll see your Roseanne and raise you a James Gunn. <laughs> but those examples aren't the same thing. Tweeting a pedophile joke 10 years ago doesn't make you a pedophile. Tweeting a racist joke after a lifetime of making racist comments is actually racist. The Guardians of the Galaxy cast wrote an open letter in support of James Gunn. You didn't hear too many people from Roseanne's staff defending her. But if you ask me, every kitty fucking cracker should have known better. <laughs> so where does it stop? We're, we've all done and said something we later regret. If our entire past is fair game, there isn't a single one of us that could claim that we have nothing to hide. But tearing down people is just too much fun. The world needs a scapegoat. And since casting blame is an age-old practice, maybe we turn to an ancient solution for help. Scapegoating is uh, another thing involving shame. It's the sort of the, it's mass bullying. The term comes from the Azazel goat. The sins of the community are placed on the goat and then the goat is sent out into the desert um, and either killed, pushed over a cliff. I don't think anyone's done this in a couple of thousand years. Until now! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show our scapegoat. <laughs> we call him Scapey. We're gonna f***ing kill this thing. 
Instead of attacking each other online, now we can blame everything on Scapey here. We've loaded him up with f***ing pedophile jokes, a few racist posts, fake news, anything horrible that's ever said on the internet. It's all Scapey's fault now. <laughs> we can get mad at him instead of each other. And that's why we're setting him loose on Santa Monica Boulevard to get hit by a bus. Thanks, Skanky, you pedophile piece of shit. Thanks for dying for our Twitter sins. <laughs>